Hi, I'm John Klein from North Carolina State University's Office of Information Technology, and I'm here to show you how to set up some optional notifications in the SysNews Nagio system. It can be extremely beneficial. For most of us, Nagios is configured with a notification rule that sends critical alerts to a pager or SMS phone when we're on call. I'm going to add two more notification rules, uh, one to send me an email for warning events, and a second to send me an instant message to my Google Talk account. Now why would I do this? Some notifications, for example, should a single drive fail on a system with redundant drives, don't require a middle of the night SMS page but I would like to get an email to let me know that there's been a fault so I can deal with it during the workday. Nagios notifications are controlled from the SysNews page, sysnews.ncsu.edu. From there, you go to Monitoring Tools, And from there, you go to Nagios Notification Settings. Do note that I've already wrapped in this browser window, um, but you do, you do have to log in. First, I'm going to set up an email notification rule to have warning notifications sent to my email address. I will enter my email address and select uh, email as the notification type. Um, short email is intended for folks who don't use the short message service SMS uh, to send text messages but have some sort of email to device gateway. In the golden olden days, many such devices were limited to messages of, I don't know, 160 characters or less. So short email exists to tell Nagios to be as brief and as cryptic as possible. While we're on the subject of notification methods, the current preferred method to get your critical service notifications is short message service. Um, it's quick. Uh, it's available on many, many, many phones, devices, whatever. Um, our outbound SMS is hardened in that there are two SMS modems on two individual servers, uh, one for each data center. So it should still function even during many outages that would knock out anything that depended on a single server or single communications path. Uh, if we suffer a disaster so great that it knocks out all automation, then the OIT 24 by 7 operations staff can use the contact information that you recorded in SysNews for each host to attempt to um, uh, contact you. Okay, so host notifications. Um, a host can be down, um, a host can be uh, up, which in this case is called uh, uh, recovered, because we're only interested in them after they've gone down, uh, or unreachable. Now, for this example, I'm just looking to be notified of uh, informational, hey, this might deserve your attention about a service via email. I don't want critical stuff like, oh, this host is down uh, when I'm not on call, so I'm not going to trigger on any host statuses. Um, if the host is unreachable, um, I really don't need an email about that. I'm really not going to take action um, or any meaningful action. For service notifications, um, I don't need an email when a warning is cleared, which is labeled recovery here, because uh, in all likelihood I cleared up the problem and I got enough spam. Um, as I said, I do want warning notifications, um, as that's what this exercise is all about, and I want critical things to be handled by the on-call person, um, getting an email that says, hey, while you were asleep, something horrible happened, well, you're uh, that's just not helpful. For notification period, um, if you manage your on-call dates with the SysNews tools, and of course you would, uh, then you can indicate that you only want to get messages when uh, you are actually on call. For myself, I don't have a horrible ringtone that wakes me up in the middle of the night every time I get an email, so I will choose 24 by 7 so Nagios can send a mail, send a mail whenever the um, problem is detected. 
Um, you might not want to have this if your phone is waking you up uh, uh, in the middle of the night. That's awful. Uh, notifications can repeat in case you missed the first one for some reason. Uh, each service that gets checked can have a repeat interval set so that if, for example, the issue isn't cleared or the host hasn't been put in maintenance after, I don't know, say half an hour, it will send a notification again. Um, for this kind of email, I don't need or want that. Press uh, set up new account and that's it. Now I get a single email, should Nagios think that there's something amiss in any of the pager rotation groups that I'm in. But wait, there's more. If I'm monitoring services for which I'm not on call, I can add them here too. To help me avoid getting blasted with too much information, Nagios will give me a clue as to how many alerts I'm likely to get by subscribing to a particular uh, on-call rotation. So just for giggles, I'm going to send up uh, sign up for two optional uh, rotation groups um, that I'll get email about. Okay, I'm also going to set up a Jabber notification that tra triggers during work hours to send me an instant message um, via Google Talk. And your Google Talk ID is the same as your email address. In this case, the notification type is Jabber. Um, don't really care about uh, host information at all, um, but I am pretty much curious about um, uh, anything that's warning or critical um, if it's happening during um, uh, while I'm logged into Jabber and I just want to see what's going on. I'm going to say work hours because I don't want my phone to vibrate or shut, tell me that there's a um, instant message request and I don't need the repeats. But this will set up my instant message so that I will get warning and critical alerts um, if I'm at work and I'm logged in. Um, even if I'm not on call, I'll get the critical so I can pitch in and help a colleague out um, if I know there's trouble. Now, I will um, pause the camera and wait for a Jabber alert and show you what they look like in both email and in, um, in Jabber. The art of maintaining an on-call rotation, particularly an unpaid rotation, is to get information about what's broken quickly, accurately, and consistently without getting so many notifications that you end up overwhelmed and spammed. These simple tools allow you considerable flexibility in defining exactly how and when you wish to be notified so you won't get spammed, but you will get informed of issues, hopefully in time to correct them and before your end users notice that they're impacted. It is far easier to replace a failed RAID drive during the workday as a result of an email message sent by Nagios than it is to get called at 3 a.m. because the volume that that drive was associated with has finally gone completely kaput and is causing an emergency. Um, I hope this is uh, helpful to you. This is John Klein from the Office of Information Technology. Um, hope you enjoyed this video.